So my name is Matthew Burden, and I'm going to tell you how you can start developing web apps for the CIA. Uh, they really need your help, and I'm going to first of all tell you um, why they need it, and then sort of how to get started. Uh, now, when I say the CIA, it's 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 the whole intelligence community, and the, the IC is the FBI, the NSA, the CIA, and then a dozen of, uh, other agencies or so that you've probably never heard of. Um, their job as a whole is to collect a bunch of information and then find out what it means. And it's a huge data store. They, put, they suck up pretty much every major newspaper in the world, every news broadcast in the world, blogs, message boards, all that stuff. And then there's a bunch of stuff that you don't have access to, not so public information, like uh, the satellite imagery here of a, of a Soviet airstrip. It's, fo it's 40 years old, years old, of course. But they end up with all this information, and of course, they need a good... So some good web tools to be able to manipulate it, just like we do on the web. Uh, I'm sure you've, you've, uh, many of you have seen this image. Imagine if we didn't have all of those things to help us manage all that data that's out there on the web. It would be pretty difficult. We wouldn't be able to find people, share data, talk to people. And actually, that is what it's like inside the intelligence community. They've got a media wiki installation, they've got a blog platform, and they've got a delicious and dig hybrid. But for the most part, you know, it's, it's just what comes pre-installed on Windows. There's nothing, they, they don't really have anything that helps them find people and share data. Now, this might be hard to believe because the IC has incredible resources when it comes to things like, like encryption and decryption and cyber warfare, but for the most part, Intel people in the, in the IC are not computer experts. They're, they're political science majors. They're the ones who are, who are briefing the president every morning and deciding when and where we go to war. And I, I was an analyst until four years ago, and when I left, the one application that everybody used was Netscape only. Now, that should, that should give you an idea of, of the philosophy that's driving them. Um, now, you might say, well, you know, if they don't have web tools, it's on the web. Why don't they just go to the websites and use them? Well, they can't. They do not have access to the web where they work. They're on an isolated network that is physically separated from the web. So they can't. They need you to help create it. Now, so, so the, we end up with this, like, like, the, like these two mirror webs. One, uh, the one that we're used to, where anyone who has an idea can develop it, put it out there, and then let anyone who wants to use it and decide if it's good. And then we have this shadow web that's sort of stuck in 1999, you know? Um, what the IC wants to do, it, it's, it's like that because whenever the IC wants an application, they need to actually say to someone, hey, can you build this for us? Uh, instead of letting anyone who, who has an idea do it. They want, to, uh, they want to let anyone develop. So this is called A-Space. You might want to Google it, uh, Google A-Space CIA to add some context. It's Facebook for spies because it's a, it's a social network underneath um, uh, with third-party apps on top. You will not see classified information if you develop because there's actually a, an unclassified sandbox. Uh, and that sandbox is called Bridge. Um, it is all capitalized. Um, I don't know why, uh, it's, it apparently doesn't stand for anything, but it's called Bridge. Um, and that, that is where you will develop your application and intelligence analysts will use it uh, and decide if it's, if it's worthy uh, of our tax dollars or not. Um, a few things you'll need. If you can create a website, you can do this because unlike Facebook, it won't be integrating into their, their, their user interface. It's actually, you'll, you'll be making standalone sites that you uh, then integrate into their user management platform. You'll need to host it yourself on an, S S on an SSL server and you need a lot of patience too because it's the government. They're not really good at this sort of thing. They're, they're figuring, it out, figuring it out as they go along. Um, so you'll have to be patient with them. Um, I mean, you, for ideas, yes. Um, if you're struggling to, to think of something uh, to make, imagine that you have a time machine and, and you've accrued all the knowledge about what's useful in the last 10 years. You can go back to 1999 and make it for the world <laughs> because, because the people you'll be building for are stuck in 1999. Um, you might be wondering why on earth would I ever want to help uh, the intelligence community? Well, they get, they get bad press, but usually they only get bad press. You only hear about them uh, when they screw up. Um, and when they do screw up, it's, it's really bad news. So they really need your help. Uh, this, this is my last slide. It's going to be up here for 30 seconds just so you can get down the URLs. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> um, the, the first one is the official site. It'll, it'll tell you how to get started. The second one is a permanent link to the official development guide. Um, but that one is sort of uh, targeted at ASP and, uh, and Java developers. And um, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, it's, it's actually stuck behind a wall. 
So I'm trying to create a, uh, an online community that's out there on the actual web. And that, that was the, uh, the last link there. Woo!